back to another vlog guys i hope you can see me well how are you if you are new here hi my name is michelin and this is hot millennial i'm the creator of a here the creator of hot millennial <laughs> i create fashion content and lifestyle vlogs if you happen to find my channel for the first time so this is maybe a weekly vlog welcome to the vlog then i'm not sure if this will be a week this will be a weekly vlog because it's already Thursday. Whatever that will be, you guys will have a vlog this week, Sunday. I am doing my hair. I have an event to go to. I'm going to support my girl pregnant. She's having an event with Jo Malone. It's a greet and meet slash shop. To me, that's a big, big, big deal because black girls are doing their own things. Like they are doing their things and it's important as another black woman to support a fellow black woman you guys so if you are new here maybe you don't know but if you've been watching my videos for quite some time then you know i'm a huge believer of women empowerment and i worked really hard for our black girls especially it's hard to be us and this influencer industry or space is already hard for black women so when another black woman, woman is having something good happening for herself like having deals with big brains it's important for us to show up so i'm happy about it we are going to north park for the pattern and draw my lawn event yay i'm gluing my hair i'm using this glue i already showed you guys i something quick so i can look decent my hair is not long enough so I need to add some shorex. Yeah, guys, this is what we are doing today. Honestly, I do not know how long this vlog will be. Like I said, today is Thursday. I'm just starting the vlog now. The event is at 6. I hope to make the before time because... I want to stop by Zara. It's, the event is taking place at Joe Malone's store inside North Park Mall. And it's like 45 minutes away from me because I live in Fort Worth. So I'm hoping to get there on time. Well, before time, go to Zara and browse around. Hopefully, I don't know if I can buy something. If I see something nice, yes, I will. And then go to the event. It's from 6 to... 8 30. i don't think i'll grab dinner because then it'll be too late honestly i don't want to stay out there too late it's too dark and i don't know i hate filming when it's too dark like that because the quality is not that great yeah i hate to be too preachy but i feel like we are all we got black girls we are all we got it's really important for us to support one another like why shouldn't we you know so me personally, I'm a huge believer of women empowerment because those influencers girls are doing it for us. When one of us wins, we all do win. We all win. So yeah, I'm going to support my girl pet. I'm done gluing the tracks in. Now it's time to make it straight. I'm going to flat to flat down the hair so it can be all straight because I need a bob. That's what I want. The good thing about gluing tracks in it, it gives you the natural look. Some people don't like don't like to do it. They are not comfortable because they think it's it breaks their hair. But it's all about knowing how to remove the tracks. And that made sure I left a lot of hair, a lot of my own hair. I had only one pack, and this is what I have left. So I only put few tracks in really maybe like what six or seven not sure but i didn't put a lot let's get into the flowering it here is the final result of my hair if you need to get your hair done call me i'll come do it how you guys like it it looks nice right i like it this might become my signature hairstyle no i'm just kidding <laughs> But I like it. It's natural. I'm not able to flat iron my hair with super, super flat on top. So I might just wear a scarf so it can be flat till it flop. 
You can even put it, you guys. I like it. Okay, still get ready, get dressed. to the Peyton and Joe Malone event. You guys, I broke my nail right before I was about to get out of the door. I mean, walk out of the door. Like, the show must go on because there was no way for me to go back inside the house. This is press on there. I did it right before, I mean, before I talked to you. I mean, after I talked to you, when I was in my hair, then I did my nails. But, look, how disrespectful. So, I mean, it looks crazy, but oh well. It's so painful, though. So painful. So, my friend and I, we are on the way. We are in traffic. It's only 4.31, and traffic is already crazy. Welcome to Texas. So you guys, I made made it to the, the event place, Joe Malone, and it's about to start. I just made another vlogger here, Blogger Magic Blogger, linking up. What's your name? Just okay, well, that's my name, but my name on YouTube is I am the one with Please Good. check me out. Yes, yeah, support the girl. We are yeah, trying. Together, we are doing it. You we know, are 2022, 2023 coming out. Mm -hmm. May. Y'all go watch it. <laughs> Support a girl, support a girl. Yes, this yes. is beautiful. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Yes. You guys, this is my first time coming to a meet and greet event. Like I was saying this, this morning, I like coming here. I'm happy to be here so we can support a fellow black woman doing her own thing. It's important. Because when one of us wins, we all win, you know? Don't be a hater. Support somebody. Can you show them what I'm wearing? So this is my outfit. I got put my glasses on so you can see the whole vibe. Hey, looking bougie on a budget, okay? The Target <laughs> glasses. I finally was able to get the Kalana Barfield and Target collection. I have this long shirt. I went with extra, I mean large, so for the oversized look. Target wallet, Target high-waisted pants, and the H&M sling, sling back shoes. You guys remember them? I wanted to go with, oh, my jacket moose bag as always. I went with, thank you. I went with the H&M sling bags because I wanted to add a pop of color. And I had a, hi. Ah, I am, yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is so nice. So yeah. I, I don't know, it looks weird. Is it because I'm wearing glasses or what? So yeah, I was saying that I went with the shoes because I want to add a pop of color. Okay guys, talk to y'all later. So we are here at the event. It's intimate, beautiful. A lot of girls came to support her and I appreciate that. It's a really nice event. I'll give you guys a tour in a minute. Yeah. 
This event was a success. It was a nice vibe, right? So many black girls came to support her. It was really good. I met a girl that was from Houston. She was coming. She came from Houston. I was like, wow. You drove for four hours. Black girls supporting black girls. We love it. I, I don't think I really vlogged a lot as far as talking to you guys because I was here trying to network and all those things. And my camera right now as we speak it won't even turn on i don't know what's the problem we are stuck in traffic so i figured i'll come here and say hello and let you guys know how it went we are on the way home now hey guys it's the next day yesterday last night when i came in i was tired i told you guys my camera wouldn't work it was actually the battery that died i didn't realize that i had filmed so much which i did film a lot i stayed at Peyton's event for so long that i forgot i had to go home that's how much fun it was <laughs> my friend was like michelin michelin i think all we need to do come in here network shop and then leave so other people can come in i'm like oh my gosh i didn't know that i mean i was so busy that i didn't even realize there were other people in line waiting to come in because the drum alone store is a small one i was like oh wow but the crazy thing is when i came home i only have two footages of the event like how it's i don't know <laughs> my friend was so shocked like i am shocked myself but hey I didn't get a chance to actually talk to you a lot when I was in there because 
I wanted to network and talk to people. You know, you have to be polite. So yeah, that's the reason why I really didn't talk to you much as I was there. But I hope you guys had a few glimpses of my evening last night. It was nice. Petting is really sweet. She's super humble and that's one thing I like about her. And she smells good. I told her you are the queen of perfume because in her videos, I've realized that she talks about perfume a lot. I was also able to exchange contact with, well, when I say exchange contact, I mean on YouTube with other creators. There was a girl who drove from Houston and I thought that was super nice. So I bought a few things from the store. I mean, I only got one, one candle, what am I saying? You guys, I hope that the quality is good. Maybe I need to switch the lights on me because I'm filming in my living room and I'm not using any lights at all. And it's 7.30. We are, oh, happy fall, guys. Happy fall. Yay. We are finally into fall. You guys, if you don't know, fall is one of my favorite seasons. We are going into the best seasons of the year. In a few months, it's going to be Christmas, and a girl couldn't be happier. Okay? And then winter, yes. My hasty giving. I'm going to switch the lights. Let's see if it's going to be better. Because I don't want to use any other lights at all. We will just stick to this. So I bought the candle, the English pear. One thing about me, if I don't, if I'm not familiar with a brand or simply a scent, I will go with a small whatever they have or a sample. So I went with the smallest candle they had. They didn't have the Miratonka. Is that what it's called? They didn't have the smaller candle, don't have a big one. I'm like, I don't know about that. So I had a small, I bought a small English pear candle. I will try it and see if I, and see how I like it. If I do love it, like how I like my diptych candles, then I'll start buying this. Funny story, when I got there, when I was talking with one of the sales associates, I was like, after here, I was going to go to Diptyque and buy a candle. She said, uh-uh, girl. No, 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 don't tell me that, girl. I was like, Whoa. that was so funny. So she pretty much convinced me into buying this. And because I love candles, I'm like, that's good. I don't mind buying a candle. I will try it. I'm a candle girl. I'm a candle girl. I love candles. They also gave me a few samples. Few sample from Jamalon. It's also English pear. I like it. But English pear, I forgot to ask Peyton, which is her, what's her favorite perfume from Jamalon. It smells good. I'm wearing it today, actually. I'm wearing it right now. But to me, it's more like summer, spring, summer type of perfume. I wouldn't wear it right now. We are already into fall. But it smells good. It smells good. I cannot wait to light, to light the candle and see how it does in my house. And, oh, let me say, let me tell you guys what, what Peyton told me. Because I don't know if it's on camera. Like I said, I've lost a few footage. A few footage. I don't know how, I don't know what happened. But she was so nice. Uh, forgive me for going back, you guys. My mind is always all over the place. But she said something, and I wanted to share with anybody who, who's watching here or anybody who's, on new, who's new on YouTube. She said, which I already know, but she said, keep working, keep sharing your videos, keep sharing your videos. One day, the algorithm will just pick it up, and from that one video, pff, everything will change, you know? These are not the exact words she used, but I'm telling you, translating, pretty much, that's what she said, keep working. I mean... We already know this. It's not like something we don't know, but it's always important to to have to hear it again, especially from somebody who's been doing this for a long time. Someone you can learn from. And since she's great at her vlogs, she's great. She's the she's like the master godmother of editing. Okay, like heart of the, the girl can edit, and it made me emotional. I'm a choir anyway, but I've been on YouTube since last year. And honestly, I, my growth is so, 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 so small. But I always create my vlogs 
all my contents, fashion contents, as if I had like a hundred thousand of subscribers. You don't know. I push it. I push it. Everybody, but sometimes it gets hard. Like your mentor, on your mentor, you you are like, oh my gosh, I'm working so hard, but I don't see result and things like that. But when you get to talk to somebody who's been there where you are right now but who kept pushing and today she's actually you know it's you can see result it's encouraging it's good so i appreciate her taking the time to just give me those words of encouragement so thank you girl god bless you yeah guys so if whatever you are doing it's not just about youtube whatever you do keep doing it the result always come you know you guys how could i have forgotten we finally hit 500 subscribers thank you guys god bless you all thank you god thank you jesus like i said my growth is so slow but i appreciate each one of you guys you have no idea i just wish you guys can take time to comment say something tell me why you like my videos why are you even subscribing why are you watching from say something let's let's meet in the comments and let's have a community let's talk i would love guys I would love to talk to you guys. I really would love to because I'm really when I'm looking at, looking at this camera talking as if I was talking to a girlfriend. But you guys don't say anything in the, in the comment. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. 500 subscribers, we love it. Share with your friend, your sister, anybody, and click the subscribe button. Yeah, guys, I appreciate y'all. I almost forgot, like, how dare I? Another thing that really makes me happy about this subscribers think me having hitting 500 a few of them are coming from my vlogs i don't care if if it's only one subscriber you guys have no idea how happy like every time i, I upload a, i upload a vlog and i see plus one subscriber so far i'm only getting one but it adds up don't take this the wrong way but if he, to me, it kind of means a little, just a little bit more when I have subscribers from vlogs than from my fashion content. Because for so long and forever, I've always heard, since I started on YouTube, I've always heard that nobody cares about your vlogs if you are not big yet. And poor little me. <laughs> Who cares? So when I see that subscriber count going up from my vlogs, it makes me happy it makes me happy it tells me somebody's watching my vlogs it tells me keep vlogging keep vlogging you love doing it so you might as well keep doing it i also want to show you this this is my new package that came in the mail two days ago from to be honest i don't even know where it came from it's a PR package. Y'all need to follow me on Instagram. I did start a new page a few months ago because I really want to focus on growing organically, creating a community like I can really, really work and grow with. So on this one, I'm really new, but these things come from my old account because I did create a relationship with brands last year when I started. 2020, 2020, it wasn't last year. I was making sure my battery is not going dead. So, I'm sorry guys, I didn't tell you. It's the Maison Margiela Paris. This is the box. I was going to do an unboxing for Instagram, but honestly, I was like, ah. Oh. What's this? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. So, they sent over perfume and candle okay i love this that's nice thank you i told you guys i love candles i'm a candles girl i am so glad i didn't buy the big candle from jo malone because this is the candle and it's super big can you guys see and this is the perfume over here Maison Margiela Paris Eau de Toilette Vaporisateur Spray. You guys know my, you guys know I speak French, so most likely when I read these French names, I read it in French. Oh, so replica. Maison Margiela replica. I am excited about the candle. Is it crazy? I'm more excited about the candle than I am about the perfume. 
you see all the parfum or all the toilet or the toilet here this was my little unboxing or whatever you want to call it I'm about to go watch some TV yeah stay safe I'll talk to you Good morning guys, good morning, happy Saturday. It's Saturday the 24th. Hope you guys had a good night's sleep. My night was where I had some crazy dreams. I watched this weird movie last night and when I went to bed, I was haunted. It wasn't a scary movie or anything, it was just crazy. And I couldn't stop dreaming about something related to, to the movie. <laughs> it was weird but it's 10 o'clock i am getting ready to, actually i'm ready i'm about to go go to breakfast i'm in the mood for some fall something you know fall drinks fall food just to welcome the season it's one of the most beautiful seasons i'm a winter girl but fall is my second favorite season and we are just so happy too bad i live in texas so i don't get to see the color change yet on the leaves and 50 degrees in the morning i wish but it's okay we're still in like 98 or something we are in the 90s for sure we'll deal with it i was thinking to go to i want something really southern and like comfort food i want like some ihop but again there's this family owned restaurant here they are great great at pancakes they make really good pancakes and really good eggs i think that's what that's where i'm going we are because marlon and i are taking his mother to breakfast and we might go watch the woman king i don't know if you guys have seen the movie yet it's with viola davis so i'm curious and excited about it because it's all about women empowerment so i heard all badasses so I'm happy to watch the movie. Hopefully, after breakfast, we go there because the movie is playing at 1 o'clock. I'm wearing a Zara dress from last year. It's a, it's a sleep midi dress. My room is a mess. I can even show you. The scent of the day is my new fragrance, the Maison Margiela replica. This is the Matcha. I need to read it. What is the name? matcha meditation i realized that i didn't tell you which one it was because i really wasn't sure until after the fact it does smell like matcha slightly i'm not sure what's the top notes in this perfume but i will make sure i let you guys know but it says fragrance description zen scent of matcha tea that's what it says on here it smells good the opening is mildly strong and then it eases on you. I like it after on my skin is smooth and it becomes light. Because it's always after when your skin sucks it. They're like, does your skin like it or not? But I tried it last night and my skin loves it. This is the first day actually, I mean the first time actually wearing it fully. So we'll see. I'm really loving my hair. It looks so natural. It looks like my own hair. I like it light I think when my hair when my hair grows like to this length this is how I'm going to wear it it's cute I simply wanted to let you guys what we are doing today I'll talk to you later back from breakfast it was good i had pancakes omelet i had mine crispy i wanted something like some fried eggs super super like hard fried eggs i don't know if you guys know anything about it so that's what i had i had it with cheese and turkey bacon the food was so much, I couldn't finish it. I bought some home for later. I'm tired. We were supposed to go to the movies, but the tickets were sold out, so we are going later on 
in the afternoon i need to take it well not that i need to i want to take a nap but i don't i'm not someone who takes naps so i'll just sit here and get on the computer and wait for time to go to the movies by the way guys i wanted to give you a mini review of the candle can you guys see me is it blurry or something let's fix this the candle the english pear by joe malone that candle is not good i mean i don't like it you cannot smell anything. I prefer it on my body than in my house. <laughs> Just in case I didn't say anything, because after I talked to you last night, I burnt it. And I was like, mm, I'm not smelling anything. But the diptych candle smells so good. I don't know much about the whole line, but what I've bought so far is really nice. It doesn't need to burn for a long time before you actually smell it. But this one, burnt for hours and hours i didn't smell anything honestly and i'm really sensitive my nose is really sensitive to smells so just in case you have not tried it yet and you wanted to maybe you can give it a try so you can see you safe but personally no i will try another scent but the english pear but on your skin good it really does well I'm not wearing makeup, you guys know. I only wear makeup for sit down videos or hauls or things like that. But like on vlogs, it's really kind of rare. Unless I'm going out, but I went out this well, I went to breakfast and about to go to the movies. I'm not wearing makeup, but mascara and this right here. Do you guys consider mascara as makeup? Honestly, I don't because I feel like for some of us who don't have lashes. You know like who don't naturally have long lashes we need to have at least some mascara so we won't look scary <laughs> oh my oh yes when i went to back to breakfast i was disappointed because i told you earlier that i want something like i wanted some fall drinks at least but they didn't have anything fall i'm like what you guys need to get it with the program so I ended up by just having some hot chocolate. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hey icons, so I'm on my way to the AMC movie theater to watch The Woman King. And this is my outfit of the day. H&M dress, H&M blazer, jacket mousse bag, Vince Camuro heels, and Amazon fashion glasses. But I think this is king. Au revoir. Viola Davis is king, okay? This movie was everything and more. Like, I am so emotional right now. <sighs> highly, highly, highly recommend it. You must see this movie. Thank you. Oh my God. I cried, I laughed, I was proud. Like, I can write a whole essay about this movie. So much I have to say about this movie, guys. Just go watch it. Happy Sunday guys, happy Sunday. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys, my camera has been acting up. I know you guys can tell the difference between the lightning and the color change, it's just so weird. I will take time to really go through it and try to fix it, but please bear with me. If the quality doesn't give, because it's supposed to give. Anyway, this morning I woke up, I woke up quite late. I woke up late and I made breakfast and talked to my family. My family lives in France. Well, I have a family in France. So I was in f on the phone with them. And that's about it. I want to come on here and close the vlog. There's not much going on today. I am going to go to Starbucks later on. I still need to get my pumpkin spicy latte, even though it's not cold in the DFW yet. I just need to get into that fall mood totally. The weather is actually, it's warm today, 94 degrees. It sucks. Yeah. Why I'm wearing this, it's actually windy. And when you stay outside for a long time, 
we start getting cold and i'm not trying to get sick okay so yeah my net came off don't worry about it the sky is so beautiful isn't that beautiful sometimes i like to come out here see dangerous i appreciate the little things you know <laughs> am i weird today's my friend's becca of becca chic's birthday and i thought we'll do something nice for her facetime her and wish her happy birthday but she doesn't know and <laughs> let's see if she'll pick the phone up because you know i don't know some people don't like actually many people don't like the car is passing by many people don't like that facetime call without giving me a heads up you know type of situation because you don't know if they are ready you don't know if the face is done or not so let's see if she'll pick her phone up to celebrate my friend's birthday i'm having a glass of wine i said this just for her i'm having some moscato barefoot <laughs> any occasion to celebrate <laughs> she should pick her phone up she's not picking her phone that's a sign <laughs> oh my god that is so funny well you guys be nice and go follow and subscribe my friend wish her happy birthday another year around the sun it's a blessing i love 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 birthdays so uh oh that's my sister calling hello cc you guys stay safe thank you so much for your support thank you for everything i appreciate you guys don't forget to like comment and share i'll see you next time bye bye